Hey guys, it's Ford 7 here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, I've had a busy day today, but off screen I have done a lot. A whole lot, really. Uh, more specifically, I have, because this is, I'll just showcase it here, I have gotten all of the collectibles that can be gotten. All of them. All mine. Mine. Uh, don't know. Apparently, some of these can be traded for something. I don't know exactly what that is yet. We'll find that out kind of as we go. Um, to kind of showcase what that is or how to find all of them without looking up a guide or anything. Um, there is a... Uh, in Meridian, which is the town I or the city I guess I'm in now, uh, the merchant sells a couple of important key items. Maps of all of the collectibles, which is rad. It doesn't show you precisely where they are, just kind of a generalized location, but once you, once you get a feel for where everything is, it's pretty straightforward. The metal flowers are in uh, triangular there's like a, a triangular opening within a patch of flowers, and it's right in there. The <coughs> uh, ancient vessels, which are the old coffee cups, you can find in ancient debris that has the purple floaty icon. And of course, uh, the Banuk figures. There's always, it's always up. And there's wall paintings that you have to, there's arrows and stuff, you follow the climbing system up to where it is, and you just pick it up, easy peasy. I have a lot, I have all of these sets, we are so good to go on these, I'm really excited about what these, I don't even know what you get, it says valuable rewards, so we shall see, another thing that I've done uh, is at Meridian as well is where they sell all of the very rare weapons. I've picked up all of those. They're all modified except for the last one that I just recently got. And I have also maxed out all various carrying capacities. <sighs> okay, it's taken a while. Uh, what's really cool about this game is, now you can't see it right now because I've already gotten all of them, but it'll show you what you need. To upgrade all of the items and what you can do is make it an errand and it will actually uh, showcase where it is if it's a monster part uh, like a, a, a mech heart it's usually mech hearts or something like that um, which are the rare drops from them it'll actually direct you to the nearest site that you found of that particular creature, whether it's lance horns or behemoths or whatever, uh, which is very handy. I have done a couple of side quests off screen uh, just to get some sweet XP that I needed. Um, I have a lot of the skill tree filled out which will come in very handy. The next thing I'm going to be working on getting is double and triple shot, which will uh, dramatically increase my damage output, uh, which I'm actually very excited about. But for now, I want to see if I can find out where you go in this town to trade those bits. I'm pretty sure it's higher up. Uh, probably up here somewhere, and the way to get there is kind of roundabout, but we'll... Is that really? There's no climbable space? That seems dumb. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. It's not like in Zelda where everything's climbable, which is... Oh, I gotta tell you, immeasurably handy. Hmm... Is this something I can do? Can I get up here? I'm well, assuming I can't climb this. Boo. Oh, hey. That's handy. Come on. Let's get, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling up here. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. 
Technically, it's not climbable, but if you can jump high enough, you can just climb it, and it's pretty it's good to go. Boo. That's stupid. All right. I don't suppose any of that actually has climbable surfaces, so we're going to have to go around anyway. That's dumb. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cornfields always remind me of the fourth mission, or the fourth, I guess, level, if you will, in Left 4 Dead. It has the five different chapters in it, the movie that you play in, where you have to run through the cornfield. That, my friends, is pretty scary, uh, all things considered. I don't know if I've done Left 4 Dead yet. It's pretty good. It's not something that is, you know, super awesome, because they have fairly strictly fast zombies, except for boomers, which are a little on the slower side. They, they, but they too are fairly fast. Anyway, unrelated, we're going to get up here. We're going to go talk to a couple of people. Uh, okay, is this, is, is this feasible for me to do? Okay, and it circles around. Right, 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 right. right. This game's fun. Like, stupid fun. Now, we haven't encountered on screen any of the new types of beasties. Um, there's behemoths. Uh, there's thunder jaws. Uh, oh, something else that I've done. I want to show you guys these. If I can zoom out to show them. So, there are five or so cauldrons. I did the first one on screen. I did the rest of them off screen for time-oriented purposes and because I like to have some of the game be uh, mysterious, so to speak, as far as being able to enjoy parts of the game on my own and you can enjoy them on your own as well. I got all the, all the tall necks, I've got all the cauldrons, I can basically override all monsters, all, all, all of the, the robots except for the corrupted ones which you can't you just got to kill those you can't do anything with i have not done all of the corruption zones yet mostly because that part it's fun but it's really kind of arbitrary ultimately arbitrary uh where is artisan Ooh. These people wear really cool gear. Trader. What does this trader have? Hey, Mr. Trader. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What is the deal here? Resources, traps and potions, ammo, not really relevant in any way. Uh, treasure boxes. Every minute I'm stuck here costs me good charts. Oh, shut up. Whoa. Oh, this is not even where I'm supposed to be yet. Okay, cool. Hello, guards. What's going on here? No one's in there. Somewhere. There's no there. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta find Olin. I forgot about that. It's been a long time. It's been, a, it's been about a week or maybe two since I recorded this last. Just getting all of the things done that needed to be done, you know. Hello. I like that all the guards come to attention when I show up. It's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Stop right there. Hello, guard. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Whoa. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Aaron's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Aaron. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Huh. Huh. I doubt that Aaron, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, you're alive. Yeah. I thought you were... Dead. Make way, make way. All nice. the way to Meridian just to see me. Hey. Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. That's awesome. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. 
Yeah. So you approve. Over there. I approve. Over there. Go from the city as she pleases. Oh, as you wish, nice. Sir. See, it's good to have friends in high places. Oh, I have news. I got a new, I got a job. I got an engineering position finally, which I'm super stoked about. Talk, I'll talk more about it once I actually have it, and it'll be, it'll be good. Not obviously any specifics because some of it's proprietary, but everyone. She always knew what to do. Yeah. Bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. Instead, here I am, stumbling around. Here. Well, mm, I lost someone too. I, uh, I lost someone too. At the proving. The mm. Pretty sure I have her wearing the super stealth nice gear. I'm all about stealth. I love stealth. And actually, this game has really decent uh, stealth mechanics. It's really good. Yeah. Why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me. Why I'm here. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The proving that not many of us survived. Not many of us survived. Blah blah blah. Heard explosions. Yeah. Some of your braves came back. Most of the contestants were dead. They were. To be fair, one of them I'm not over fond of, so it's okay that he kicked it, but. How did you survive? How I survived is less. Well, it's not okay, you know what I mean. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came. What a jerk. Because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. Olin. I need to find Olin. I need to know. But he's a friend. Mm hmm. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want. I do know that do Olin's know working that. with but them. I, this. I don't need you to understand, Aaron. I just need you to take me to him. Yeah. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Really? Uh, any places he frequents, places he returns to. A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. Okay. Time to go to Olin's. To see Olin's place. Now. Cool, main story. Okay, okay. Come on. Didn't expect to be jumping right in to this, but uh, we will... Oh, uh, where is that? That's right here, right? Yeah, we're going to do that. That's fine. What up, guards? Man, these guys are like beasted out. I really like her slow walk. It's nice. Got that extra hip movement. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Following my boy. Errand. Errand is cool. Aaron reminds me a lot, um, by way of his like facial hair of uh, Ivan Van Norman, the guy, the guy that works for Geek and Sundry, does does a lot of DMing type stuff. It's really good. Oh, dude. Uh, the the stream of Annihilation, which is uh, two twelve-hour days of D and D. Amazing so far. I'm not done with the second day yet. I just finished the first day. Um, super excited to finish watching that. It's real good. We gonna we gonna hustle up over here. Is this is this the place? Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. <laughs> Here we are. We're not to break anything. Either than the door. What are all of this? Hatch. Really? In the Sun King's court. Is there anything upstairs? <gasps> okay, hang on. Let's go. Let's go look upstairs. Before we go to the hatch, we're gonna look upstairs. Of 
but is it actually in any way relevant? I don't think that it is. All right, cool. Cool beans. All right, everybody, before we go into this hatch, we are going to end the video. And we'll, we'll go into the hatch in the next one and see where this goes. Until next time, Bomba Tuna. See you next video.